What I would do as a day one business owner when it comes to maximizing the amount of money that I'm able to get to grow my business. Let's dive in. Look, if you're just launching a business, you're probably thinking, how do I get the money I need to start this thing and to be able to grow and scale? Well, I'm gonna teach you right now in this training what I would do as a day one business owner to maximize the amount of credit and lending that you're able to get. Look, I'm gonna show you a lot of different ways to get money you haven't even thought about or even knew were possible as a startup business. We got a lot to cover, so let's dive in. Okay, so it's day one. I'm just starting a new business and I want to maximize the amount of money that I'm going to get. So the very first thing I am doing is making sure that my business foundation is built the right way. I need a separate address for my business, like a virtual office, like Regis, Alliance, or DaVinci. I'm going to need a separate phone number for the business. The business needs to have its own bank account. I'm going to make sure I have an EIN number set up for the business as well. I'm going to have a professional website, a professional email address that is not my personal and is not linked to like an AOL or a Gmail type email address. And most importantly, all of my information is going to be congruent and the same. This information I'm putting on the application must 100% match what the IRS has for my EIN and most importantly, the Secretary of State. All the information, my social media pages, my website, the information must match. This is so important because the number one reason you are going to get denied for credit and financing is that lenders think the application is fraud. And they think it's fraud because the info you put on an app doesn't match other places they're looking to find that same information to validate that your business is real. So making sure all that information is congruent, separating your business from you right from the beginning is step one to maximizing your capital is a new business. Now, if we've done this correctly, it's time to start getting money. Yeah, you can get a lot of money as a startup. Here's how to do it. The first thing we're going to do is start building business credit. Look, business credit is a process. So we want to get this started as quickly as possible because by building a credit profile and score, it makes us more lendable. It makes it easier to get loans and credit lines we want to get just by having an established business credit profile and score. Plus, business credit gives us the easiest way to get money to grow our business. Look, a lot of other type of financing relies on us having revenue that we don't have in day one of a business. So we need to get money that's not relying on revenue and business credit's one of the best forms of financing that's not based on your revenue. As a matter of fact, business credit's the only kind of business financing that's not reliant on your revenue or your cash flow, your consumer credit, or collateral. So the things that will normally get you turned down for loans and credit lines don't matter when it comes to business credit building. So make sure you go out and get your Dunn's number from Dunn and Bradstreet and make sure you start getting approved for some starter vendors like Uline and Granger as well and make sure you check out the link in the description to this training where I'm giving you access to my guide that maps out the exact steps to be successful building your business credit. So get started building business credit right away and in doing so, you're gonna start to get two to $10,000 credit lines at lots and lots of vendors that you're going to be able to use to start getting the money to grow your business. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to evaluate my personal credit options. As I mentioned, lending really comes down to three things, cash flow, credit, and collateral. We're a new business, we don't have cash flow. So what we wanna look at is do you have good personal credit, 700 type FICO scores or above? Or do you have a guarantor, someone around you who does, a family member, a friend, a potential investor? If so, there's a good probability you can qualify for a program called Credit Line Hybrid. With Credit Line Hybrid, you can get up to $150,000 as a brand new startup business. Plus, you get it with 0% rates for up to 18 months. You could even take the cash out of this at 0% pretty powerful. And a lot of these credit lines report to the business credit reporting agencies. So not only are you able to get 50, 100 or 150,000 in financing, but you're also able to build business credit at exactly the same time. This is a powerful way to get the startup capital you need to launch your new business. Next, I'm going to evaluate my collateral options. The biggest category of business funding is called collateral-based lending. It's using some kind of asset that you may have as collateral to be able to get money. And almost any kind of asset will work. Do you have stocks, bonds, 401ks, IRAs, or does someone around you have that that they can leverage theirs or are willing to leverage theirs to help fund your new business? Do you have inventory equipment or do you need to buy inventory equipment? Financing is available for that as well. There's e-commerce 
financing where you can actually get the money you need to buy all the inventory that you're selling online. You can get commercial vehicle financing. You can get commercial real estate financing. You can get financing to actually flip homes. So you can use the home or the real estate or the vehicles you already own as collateral to get financing or get financing to buy all of those things as well. Heck, you can even use cryptocurrency as a form of collateral to qualify for business financing as well. So the question comes down to what assets do you have available to you? They don't even have to be yours. They may be somebody else's or your own, but do a quick assessment to look at what kind of assets you have that could be pledged as collateral. That can qualify you for very low interest rate financing, even as day one of starting your new business. And there you have it. That's exactly what I would do is day one launching my business to maximize my money. I'm going to get business credit. I'm going to make sure my business is structured the right way. I'm going to get all the money I can using the 3C formula, cash flow, credit, and collateral. And since I don't have cash flow, I'm going to rely on my collateral and build business credit while using consumer credit to maximize my financing options. Want to learn more? Well, make sure you grab the free guide on building your business credit in the link to the description of this training and make sure you like, subscribe, and follow to keep an eye out on our next training where we talk about more cool ways to get the money you need to start and grow your business.